Welcome back. It's that time. Our friend Christopher Lloyd of the Film App is here letting us know the m new movies we need to see, all about a film festival coming yeah. up. Yeah. We love your advice, Chris. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Well, I'm mostly focusing on, focusing on Har Heartland Film Festival, but we did have to talk about Amsterdam. Okay. Because it's the big movie coming up this week. And it's had a lot of hype. It's maybe an Oscar contender. Really? This is sort of a kooky, dizzy movie set in the 1930s. It's sort of a crime caper slash love story. Uh, John David Washington, Margot Robbie, and Christian Bale play three friends who are sort of investigating this conspiracy that's going on. Uh, they were all friends from World War I. Uh, both the men were like badly wounded. And this is Christian Bale doing his like, you know, dress up acting thing. He, his character has a glass eye which keeps getting knocked out. <laughs> he's scarred, he wears a back brace, so he's all stooped over. Uh, and so uh, this is from David L. Russell. A lot of people are really looking forward to it. And didn't quite do it for me. Oh, okay. It's a great looking movie. It's got a lot of cool things going on. I love these actors. Uh, I'd like to see them do almost anything else but this movie. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those movies that just, I, I'm actually liking it more than the other critics I've talked to. Uh, so it's one of those movies I liked in pieces, but not what they put not together. Not as a whole. Okay, okay. All right. that's, that's an honest review, though. Yeah, it's and very it honest. lets people know what to expect. It's you know, what you're going to get with the film, yeah. What the expectations yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and Chris, we got the 31st year of the Heartland Film Festival. Yeah, I know. So Every cool. year they seem to outdo themselves with what they're bringing in. I can't believe all the films. So I thought I'd just give you just a quick preview. What, what court, we're calling it Chris's Best of the Fest. Okay. Best of the uh, Fest. The ones I, movies either I've seen or I th I'm going to see that I think are really going to register. Uh, the first one up is The Whale, of course, starting Indianapolis native Brendan Fraser. Uh, and this is a story about a guy who has gone through all this depression. He's gained a bunch of weight. He's supposed to be 600 pounds, the character in the story. And he's trying to like restart his life, reconnect with his daughter. Uh, and just, you know, have a life going forward. He is hot topic for Oscar nomination. Okay. I wow. am stoked to see it. Okay. That is so exciting. I didn't know he was an Indy native. Yeah, born in Indianapolis. That's awesome. I, I didn't know that. I love that. Yeah, that's cool. So that's the whale. What's next on your list? Smaller film, documentary Eat Your Catfish, made by an IU fellow. All right. Uh, about, about his own family, but his mother has ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. So they had this idea where they set up a camera and microphone above her wheelchair, so we see for a year her world from her perspective, how she's experiencing life, and this movie is joyful and depressing and uplifting and intimate. It's just an incredible look at this woman. Basically, she knows she's going to die. She wants to just stay alive long enough for her daughter's wedding, which is coming up. Wow. And it's just a look at this extraordinary life and uh, being experienced, and you are going to love, you know, as the peop real people, you're going to love them, you're going to hate them. Just an amazing film. Absolutely. Eat, Eat your catfish. Eat your catfish. You guys want to tear up just hearing about it. I know. Yeah. Not uh, to be missed, that one. It's a That's unique a perspective. Talk yeah. to us about Till, Chris. So this is the story of Emmett Till, which is interesting. You know, that happened, that tragedy kind of happened before the age of television. Sure. And so it's something that we sort of think about as almost mythological. We don't really know Emmett Till as a person, as a living being. Um, and so this is an attempt to really sort of humanize him, make him a real person, look at the terrible tragedy of how he lived, not just how he died, but how he lived mm -hmm. and what came before and what came after that terrible tragedy. And another one I think is going to be a prime Oscar contender. Okay. All right. Wow. Next up we have Close. What's this one about? So this is a Belgian film mm. that it won the top prize at the Cannes Film Festival uh, just earlier this year. So obviously a lot of hype for it. And it's about two young boys, 8 to 13, have this tremendous summer friendship, do everything together, just absolutely bond. Then they get back to school and they find their relationship changing because like people are accusing them of being a couple. They're not really sure about their own relationship, but they just know that they really, really like each other and spending time with each other. And so sort of a look at friendship, growing up, whether it's a romance or not, is sort of secondary. It's just look at how they are treated by the rest of the world. Okay. Close. All right. Talk to us about, this is a great title, More Than Corn. Another local story. This is a documentary shot about a farm right up here in Noblesville. And it's a, another one of these, a year in the life, looking at them uh, going through the seasons, you know, that whole farm to table thing. We get to see it up close and personal as it's being practiced. Uh, just a, a really cool, interesting look at you know modern farming and trying to be closer to the earth and you know eat with the seasons and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I yeah. love that. Definitely a movie that will uh, get your taste buds going. All right. all right, sounds good. Hey Chris, if people want to get a recap of Best of the Fest from you or just all your recommendations, where can they go? Of course, filmyapp.substack.com. You can go there. You can hit that subscribe button to get all the stuff as an email, or just experience it as a website. We're, we do, we do it all. Awesome. We do it all. Yeah. Chris, love having you on, Chris. Thanks a lot. Great to be here. Hey, stick around for more Andy now. Right after this.